all right guys i'm gonna have time it looks like to get video on the done too so um i think it'll be fun to see how different these two horses are and uh how you kind of need to work on different things depending on you know what kind of animal you're working with same as the gray i uh already sent this colt around the round pen did good nice and relaxed and uh now we're going to get on always flap those seat jockeys just making noise flap the stirrups front and back front and back I don't want to sneak around my colts I want them to get gentle and so it's just kind of part of the routine before I get on both these colts are doing good though in that regard mounting up and dismounting What I'm expecting from this colt is uh, for him to be a little freer. I'm not going to have to be pumping, 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 you know, to keep him moving like on the little bay. Um, so what I'm going to want to do is the same goal with him today, which is tight trotting circles, you know, with his shoulders standing up. I don't want his shoulders off to the left with his head over here. So I'm going to work on those tight, you know, straight up and down circles at a trot. That's our goal. But while I'm doing that and to find my quitting spot, I'm going to start getting control of this horse's go. This horse has a lot more run. And uh, so I don't want to get rid of the run any more than I wanted to get rid of the woe on the, on the bay. I like all that woe. I just want to control his woe. And I want to control this horse's go. And so we just have to go about it a little different. I mean, I don't have to... I don't have to squeeze this horse at all. You know, I barely cluck at him and off he goes. We had to push him a little that first ride, but that's real common, you know, with the first ride. For the third ride, I think the bay did really, really well, um, but they're starting to relax and just show what their natural dispositions are. That colt is just naturally really radiant. He's bred to be that way. So I don't want to get rid of that. I just want to control it. This colt is bred to go, to be a lot freer, and I don't want to get rid of that. But I do want to control it. Man, he's really, really good tight circles walking, which is what we quit on last week. I'm just going to let him get on the rail. He just wanted to go back to the gate and that's fine rather than trying to keep them from the gate or anything that they really want to do that I don't want them doing rather than keep him away from it I'm just gonna let him come over here and this is where we're gonna do our work and eventually he's gonna figure out that if he does the things I ask him to do life's a lot easier than if he does the things that he really wants to do so rather than take some time to walk him around the the pen since he's really wanting to come over here to the gate i'm just going to go ahead and get started mainly because his tight circles walking are so good i feel like we can go ahead that review is over with so we can go ahead and start trotting and i'm going to trot him in a tight little circle right here at the gate until he wants to get away from here See, he's already fading out. And I'm gonna bring him back and keep him right here. And I'll just use this little area to work on what I was gonna work on. But I'm not fighting him to keep him, to keep him away from the gate. If I try to keep him away, I just have a fight. If I put him here and work him, I can get done what I wanna get done. And he learns that this place he was wanting to hang up might not be the best place to hang up.
Man, he's already got some nice little tight circles standing up. Shoulders are leaking out a little bit because he's figuring out he doesn't have to be at the gate. I'm going to let him leave here. And then I'm easy. I'm just going to let him walk over here. Let him figure out that if I ask him to come over here, I've got a good reason. Have him start figuring out that it's easy to do what I ask him to do. And it's harder if he argues with me. This colt's a lot freer. He's got a good soft mouth. So I think his trotting circles are gonna come in, you know, come pretty quickly. So I ought to have a lot of time to introduce some speed transitions and uh, see how that goes. In the same way that on the little bay, we quit him, we loped him and quit him. You know, we were pushing, pushing, pushing the whole time. In an effort to control how much woe and rate he's got, with this colt I want those tight circles but I want to try to control that go try to control the go that he's got I'm gonna draw him in the middle he leaked his shoulders leaked out a little bit but not much so I'm gonna do it again right quick took the bad step no big deal Draw him in again. That one was pretty nice. I'm going to let him walk. And since he keeps... Since he keeps trying to cut across the pin, I'm just going to send him over here to this other direction. We'll work right, at, right here at the gate again. He just really wants to hang up right here so we'll just work right here it's no big deal every time he gets out there on the end of my rein I'm just bumping him and bringing his nose back and his shoulders have to follow eventually to see how they're leaking out this way There he comes. I'm gonna let him go off down the rail. I'm just gonna pull him through. He's pulling on me real hard right there, so I'm just gonna lock him down and get that nose back. There's that nose. Now I want it sitting there on loose rein. If he gets on the end of it, I'm gonna draw him back around. Draw him through the middle. He's still pulling on me, but he let me, he allowed me to pull him through there. I'm just gonna keep bumping on him. I want him to follow that nose. He's responding with his nose, but then he's just pulling on me. Like right there, he's pulling, 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 pulling. There he let go. See, when they let go, you gotta let them have some release. If I miss that, then I just teach him to pull harder. I'm gonna draw him through the middle. There we go. He was pulling on me again. I'll give him two or three chances. If their response doesn't get better, then I have to change my correction a little bit. I asked him to come through there and he just kept pulling on me, so I locked him down right quick. Pull him through the middle. 
same thing. I'm not gonna let him sit so long. I've just changed the length of time between when I ask him to do it and when I expect him to do it. At the beginning, when I ask him to do it, he can take quite a long time to actually do it. But he's so soft at a walk, I know he knows what I'm asking him to do. And so I need to shorten the time that I'm letting him ignore me. So I'm just going to draw him through the middle. He's just really pulling on me. So I'm just going to change directions instead of getting in a fight. I'm going to let him go to the left, which is where he acts like he wants to go. And we'll do it to the left. And when we get down this direction, he'll be ready to go right. Otherwise, you just find yourself in here banging around on him and getting into a fight. So I'm just going to draw him through here. That was nice and tight. Easy. See, it's not as easy to slow him down as it is the little bay. I kind of had to I kind of had to keep pulling a little bit. But he's going to have a big motor. This guy is. And he's bred to have a bigger motor. He's bred to, you know, be a wicked awesome head horse, calf horse, maybe even barrel horse. These tiny quills usually have a lot of run and a lot of stop. All right, his reward's been long enough. I'm going to ask him away from the gate this time to see if that was just a fluke. Draw him through. Easy. That was nice. Except for his little stumble there. That was real nice. Want to keep him moving. He doesn't stop until I say the magic word. So that left feels real good, so we're gonna try to go right. I want that tight, tight, tight trotting circle. I'm gonna review at a walk. See, I bumped him pretty hard right there. He's ignoring me at a walk too. So if you can't do it at a walk, you can't do it at a trot. Or I should say I. I'm, I'm not sure what you're capable of doing. Probably a lot more. If I can't get it at a walk, I can't get it at a trot. There's no use in me asking. I'm going to draw him through the center again. That was a lot more responsive, but I'm going to bump him any more anyway because it wasn't perfect. And make sure he's real clear about what I'm asking him to do. When I first put tension on there, he's just pulling back. And if he'll respond real nice and easy and look for that release, I'll stop him right now. And then we'll start again in a minute. But he's still just pulling on me. So I'm just going to keep bumping him around here. And I don't just bang on him. I draw. He's hanging on the end of it. I bump him off. Draw. He's on the end of it. Whoop, there he found it. Whoa. Whoa. As soon as they give you what you want, you have to be real clear about the fact that they did good.
I'm gonna let him trot this way a little bit. And then I'm gonna make him lope. And then, after that, I'll try to get my tight circles and let, the, let those tight circles be his release from loping a little while. him a minute to figure that one out but that's all right we still had a lot of forward motion going from lope from, from just loping drawing through the middle Easy. he was pulling on me a little bit through that circle but it was nice and tight so I'm gonna let him walk for just a second and then we'll go again he doesn't get to stop because he didn't do it perfect, but he did it well, so let him have a little breather. And then we'll go again. He was really moving out like he wanted to lope off. So I'm just gonna let him, I'm gonna tip his nose in a tiny bit and just let him relax at this trot before I ask him for that tiny circle. Cause it's asking a lot of this colt on a stirred ride to, to circle up right after I loped him when he's thinking forward, forward, forward. So I'm gonna let him slow down just a little bit. There he is. And then I'm gonna draw him into the center. Nice. Easy. Whoa. Flap around on him a little. Let's let him sit here for a second. That was a nice tight little circle to the right. Kind of stood up, lost his shoulders for about that long, but then he stood up and came on around there. So now I'm gonna work on that raid a little bit. Cause you can tell if you watch the other video of the bay, if I quit riding on the bay, he stopped. He's dead still. <laughs> With this colt, he's, there's just a lot of go. I can, I can quit riding on him when I say quit riding, imagine, you know, if you're leaning forward and squeezing, 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 you take your legs off and just sit down. That's what I consider quit riding. It's not that obvious, but the horse can feel you. You know, if you're riding, 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 and just kind of quit, they can feel you, and that the little bay will stop right then. This done horse, he's going to have a lot of stop, but we're just going to have to teach it, you know, teach him to do it which I hope will be easy. His daddy was a huge stopper and he had a lot of go too, so I think we'll be just fine. So all I'm gonna do is squeeze a little bit with my feet, not enough to make him trot, but enough to kind of step out at a walk. He's just gonna kind of move out a little bit. There he goes, just a little bit. And then I'm just going to quit riding. Whoa. Back him up a couple steps. See, he kind of leaned into the reins a little bit right there. And that's what we're going to try to try to get him off of. So we stop, back him up, change directions. Go again. I'm squeezing. I'm going to squeeze him a little more to kind of get him to step out a little bit. Take my feet off. 
Whoa. He, well, see, he already started to, he started to stop before I ever even asked him with the rain. So, I mean, he's going to be a natural stopper too. He's going to let me get control of that, all that go that he's got. So now I'm going to go ahead and trot him off. And we're going to do the same thing, but instead of stopping him, I want him to, to walk. And I don't want him to pull on me, I just want him to do it immediately from a trot to a walk, which is a speed transition from a trot to a walk. So I'm just going to squeeze him so he'll step out a little bit. And then I'm just going to quit riding. Yeah. Oh man, that was quick. He almost stopped on me. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. So this colt's doing really good. Asking him, he's doing what I'm asking him to do. I'm going to trot him off, get a tight right circle, and when I come out of it, I'm going to stop out of a trot and quit. So I'll have him squeezed up going into that circle, and when we come out of it, I'll quit riding and ask him to stop. through squeezing him up well he would have done good but he went around the halter that I have thrown in the middle of the pen for when I quit so we're gonna try again <clears throat> you can see when he went around there I lost his shoulders when he stepped around that halter I want him to go in front of that halter probably all right I'm gonna draw him through See, this is why we, you know, one's, one ain't no record. <laughs> I heard a good friend say that one time. You go somewhere, you win a roping, one ain't, one ain't no record. So he gave me a good tight circle a minute ago, but, you know, one ain't no record. So, got to make sure he knows, got to make sure he learned what I've asked him to learn today. So he's got to do it again. So I'm going to just send him across the pen. There we go. Because that, that first time when I asked him, he just didn't respond at all with his nose. I'm going to send him across the pen again. Bump him a little that time. He didn't respond. Bump him again. Circle him up. We almost made it. He took about a one, one stride walk in the middle there. Easy. We were almost there. You know, it, it's hard to get control of a lot of run. You know, it's hard to circle up these these bigger horses that have a lot of run. Or it's not hard, it's harder than, you know, these littler colts, cutter bred and rain cow horse bred colts. gonna have to bump him up just bump him with my feet and bump him with the reins got to get him off the, from pulling on me otherwise we'll never get there send him through the middle same thing not responding this next time if he doesn't respond I'll just make him walk and pull him through it He must have heard, whoop, oh, oh, he tried to leave there at the end.
we've done it so much to that side even though i'm looking for a quitting spot i'm going to change directions we're going to do it once this way yeah that's really nice that way and that really lets you see what i'm looking for too and it tells me he does know what I'm asking him to do. He's just pulling on me that other direction. And that's all right. We just have to be patient. Be clear with our ask. I talked a little bit about why we need some free, free movement with that, the bay coat. and why we need that tight circle on him for this guy you know we want that tight circle just to have a good hand just to have a good general handle in case we go with the ranch out ranch horse route with him he's still going to have to be able to do a dry work pattern spins um, facing up with a head horse um, controlling the box with a calf horse head horse or heel horse you want to be able to control those shoulders he needs to learn, be able to know how to guide and so you have to get control of this nose and these shoulders. That was nice and soft right there. Oh. He didn't really stop good for me right there. So I backed him up. I'm going to go the other way. Whoa. Same thing. So I'm going to back him up. Whoa, there we go. That's, that's a good little response for a third ride. So we'll let him sit for a minute. But that's just a side note uh, today. That's, you know, we're introducing that today. The goal that we want to get today is that tight right circle to the right. Or the goal is to get a tight circle both ways, but he's doing the to the left no problem. So we got to get control to the right, get him standing up and free movement through the right circle. I'm just going to change my ask up a little bit. Mainly because I haven't loped him to the left anyway. So I'm going to lope him to the left a couple times. And then I'm going to release him to the right in a trot. And ask him for that right circle. That was a real nice response to slow down. Pretty soft little circle there to the left, even after we were open. So I'm just going to send him across the pin. Change directions. Draw him into the center. circle to the right he pulled on me a little bit stopping but I'm not worried about it today's the first day I ever even showed him that this is, that's a good response right there because eventually he stopped he backed off the range real good when I backed him up I'm real happy with that the main thing we wanted was that little tight right circle that was a great third ride 
good colt. Just gonna bang around on him again. A lot of movement in the saddle and then step off. <laughs> 